Hello everybody, welcome to episode 1 of my hardcore adventure speedrun playthrough. So unfortunately, little badass was lost in the line of battle as a result of me being an idiot. Thanks to all you guys who put an F in the comments for him. But we're moving on. So apparently in this one we do get a tutorial. So I'm going to go through that real fast and get back to you. So this is a really easy cheese to do for adventure mode and of course it translates into this mode as well. When you have the fishing quest, it just stays unlocked. So you can go back and fish as many shrimp as you want. But like, I might go ahead and just grab like 50 here to make this easier. I would normally skip the tutorial. The reason it's so important to do it now in this, um, just like regular adventure mode, it gives me some money to start off with. So I get closer to unlocking my first skill and I can get a decent amount of food to start me off. Like you saw in my hardcore combat only speedrun series, if you watch that. Getting food early on when you only have combat skills available is extremely annoying. So this should make that easier. To get started less of a slog just sitting and killing potatoes for 30 minutes i mean i could sit here and get like 500 shrimp if i want to but it's not that big of a deal i just need some to help me get started i got like 39 whatever it's also nice because it gives you a nice starting weapon as well so that's pretty helpful and we're good to go so now i got wants me to kill two plants why do i have 2000 hp what mods do i have installed just this one right hold on i gotta look at uh i didn't really read the modifiers for this Yep, plus 100% maximum hit points for you and the enemies. Okay. Plus 800% global mastery XP. Damn. You can see my character name is Epic Gamer. That is subject to change. If any of you guys have a name you think would be cool for this character, drop it in the comments. I'll check all of them out and pick which one I like. Yeah, okay, let's go in here. I'm going to go ahead and heal up to full. Let's kill some plants. See, my attack interval is very fast. So now it wants me to get some more copper and tin, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get through this, get my money up a little bit. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do anything else that's interesting. So I'll get back to you once this is done. So I actually did remember something else I can show you guys. So for this ta uh, task here, the farming, it makes you buy five compost. And that shit is expensive, right? It's 2,500 to buy, but you actually don't need to use it for this. You can just plant these and it doesn't really matter because it's not like we're ever going to be able to harvest them anyway. And see, everything is locked. Now, go back in here. Go ahead and equip the bronze sword. Probably lock this. I did get this too, which is really lucky. That's a bunch of extra money. Sell everything. 3,400. And I think we already have enough to unlock. Oh, we need a few more thousand. That's okay. So, uh, my first skill I'm going to unlock is definitely going to be cooking. I'm um, absolutely, no doubt, that's the best one. In my opinion, so I have a sword. Not much else interesting going on. Go ahead and heal up. Probably stick on cows like I did in my other run. I'm going to kill these for a little bit. Be nice and careful. I was thinking about it. And since there's a 100% extra uh, max HP for me and the enemies, I feel like that's going to be make everything so much easier for me. Because now, my auto-eat is going to be such a high threshold. Even with auto-eat 1, I might be able to do some crazy stuff. But we'll have to see. Obviously, I don't really know for sure how this game mode works. I've never played it before. As long as I don't accidentally go into a god dungeon with the wrong gear set on, I should be okay. I just need to get up to 10,000. And cows are probably the best way to do that. Right now, killing cows is also good. Because not only am I making a decent amount of money from uh, being able to sell the leather... But I also build up a supply of beef, which is something I think I can craft at level 1 cooking. So that'll help me build up a good supply of food as well. Hopefully I won't have to stop to get more food. Kill potatoes. Hopefully I can just go straight to being able to cook beef. But yeah, this is quite similar to the hardcore combat only speedrun mode. But I feel like it should be different enough to be interesting because... I've got to make decisions on what to buy, what skills to buy, because, you know, they get more and more expensive. All oh, right, I can't bury bones yet. I guess I'll start holding on to them. Yeah, I've got to decide what things to do all the time. Like, in Hardcore Combat only, my only option was combat. I had nothing else that I could be doing. Okay, there we go, 12,000. So now I can get cooking. That's done. Very sweet. Next skill will be... 25 grand. So I've got to figure out what I want to do next. Might be astrology or agility. Or fishing, something to make some money while I'm offline without having to do combat. Uh, hopefully I can get to that tonight. That would be very nice. First things first, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to cook up whatever beef I have. I only have 32, but I want to get this cooked up. As many as I can anyway. My cooking skill is low, so I'll probably fail to cook a few of them. But these are pretty decent food. They heal for 500, so pretty nice. Very nice. Uh, this is so satisfying after having to deal with the potato problem and... Hardcore combat only. But yeah, go back to cows for a bit. Probably use up all my food. Go ahead and train block. Got attack to level 10. Want to get defense to 10 as well. I'm not sure what my final goal is for this. I definitely at least want to have every skill unlocked. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for completion yet. I definitely do want to do Into the Mist. You know, same goals I had on my hardcore combat only, but... You know, we'll see how far we get. As soon as I get everything to level 10 and build up a decent supply of food, I'll probably immediately try to go and get the steel gear from the steel knight. Just to up my evasion ratings a little bit and my attack and everything. 
Should be pretty good and pretty easy to get the full set. My next unlock will probably be some form of money making. Like I said before, fishing, agility, and then astrology is just for the buffs it gives you. And then after that, once I get a decent amount of money, I might unlock Slayer. I think that's a good bet as well. I don't need ranged or magic at all right now. Okay, go ahead and run from this and cook up all this meat. So that's done. Go ahead and sell all the leather as well. Okay, up to nine grand again. I've got a de decent supply of food. Probably gonna go ahead and try and get the steel set. Over my finger over this button. Should be okay. I didn't think about how much slower grinding for items is gonna be with the higher health pools. Because the damage isn't adjusted to compensate, I don't think. It doesn't seem like it anyway. Get all their boots. Gonna equip all everything. Here's the pants. That's quite good. Yeah, anything I can get to just like even slightly reduce the chance to hit will make everything so much easier. I'll try and grind out attack to level 40 as quickly as I can so I can get that ice sword because that'll make things really good as well. That or the Elorine spear, both would be really good. There's a scimitar that's good for strength training. I need to get the shield still. I don't know how I haven't found that yet. My goal for tonight is probably just to get to the point where I can unlock a form of money making that I can overnight with and then hopefully I'll be able to like get auto eat and stuff like that in the morning because you know with the first days oh i forgot about summoning okay we have access to that kind of because the first days of hardcore combat only i couldn't do anything overnight because i didn't have auto eat so it was impossible for me to idle things really there's a shield that's pretty good i'm getting some good hit points levels as well here probably probably just run through all my food and the I only need the plate body now, which knows the rarest drop from these guys, so if I don't get it, that's fine. The more I'm thinking about it, I think fishing is probably the best bet. Because then I can get the amulet of fishing, I can get the skill rings and stuff. I think it's a good way of getting prayer points early, and I can get food pretty easily as well. Like some of the best food sources in the game come from fishing, so sounds like a good bet to me, especially since I've already unlocked cooking. Okay, I'm out of food. Let me kill this last one, and I'll bail on out of here. Okay. No play body. That's perfectly okay. I'll go ahead and sell all this stuff. I don't really need any of it. Except for the scimitars. I'll lock the scimitars. Sell the rest. A couple hundred more. Go back to cows. These guys can't kill me super fast. The chance to hit is getting pretty low now. Especially with the armor on, but gotta be careful still. If I drop below like 900, 800, I'll just run away and cook up whatever food I have. I would really prefer it if you would drop beef instead of leather actually. There we go. That's enough. I can do, I can at least cook up enough beef to get me to full health. So I'll probably grind out some more food real quick so I'll get back to you in a minute. All right so I grind out a bunch of food. I just kept going until all my stuff hit level 20 so that's done. Got 150 beef. I think I also have enough leather to get the next skill unlocked but I'm gonna cook up all this beef first. All right, now that I've got that all equipped, I'm gonna go ahead and sell, convert and sell all this leather. All right, so I got 29 grand. That means I can unlock fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I've got fishing unlocked. That is great. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the upgraded fishing rod. So I don't have this unlocked. Probably just gonna go ahead and start grinding this stuff out, leveling this up. I'll probably stay active on this account until I can uh, at least get to level 30, 35 or something. I wanna at least be able to get the puffer fish probably. I would love to go ahead and get the um, the skeleton fish and magic fish and stuff unlocked, but that won't probably be for a while. So we'll have to wait and see. But if I'm lucky, hopefully it won't take me too long to get the skill rings, amulet of fishing, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll get back to you once I get to a good stopping point for tonight. Once I hit a high enough level to get some stuff I want. So I actually have completely forgotten how Adventure Mode works. So I've been letting this sit here getting uh, Blowfish, waiting for it to level up. But I forgot that it is limited to my combat level. But I did find the Barbarian Glove. So I'm thinking that if I can catch the leaping trout then i may be able to inadvertently level up my combat and that'll allow me to level up my fishing overnight since my combat is leveling up then my fishing should match it see now my com my combat is level 24 because my strength just leveled up and my fishing immediately leveled up as well anyway the trout is worth double what the blowfish is so it's still a reasonable thing to do i'm gonna go ahead and sell open this chest real quick you can see i did buy 10 more bank slots i'm getting these sharks too which is super nice i'm gonna go ahead and sell all this junk and stuff in here now they're 23 grand so how much do we need for our next skill even 50 grand so that's super easy yeah that's super easy i have no idea what i'm gonna do next i know i said slayer that's probably a good idea but there's so many options i don't want to get thieving at some point that is a great way of getting money and items and food so that is a really good option as well, but I'm definitely not going to be able to do that until I have at least auto eat one. So we'll have to see. I'm just slowly leveling up strength at the same time as I'm leveling up everything else. My strength will level up. I'll probably get to a pretty high level overnight, actually. Our ring gloves is kind of crazy. 
It allows me to kind of cheese the way that adventure mode works a little bit so I can still idle it. Obviously, I'll see diminishing returns at some point. I think I can get the next fishing rod now. Oh, I need to be level 35. So I'll probably just stick on leaping trout overnight. It doesn't let me get the amulet of fishing or anything like that. But I would much rather have more value leveling up fishing right now um, than letting it sit to try and get certain items. This also levels up combat skills. So, you know, it's doing two things at the same time. And the higher, inter the lower interval for everything. I mean, I still need to get more materials, but the higher skill XP doesn't really matter to me all that much because it's not going to take long to grind everything out if I end up wanting to do that. And because everything is so fast, if I want to get the rings, it probably would only take me a day or two to get them both if I came back later and tried to grind them out. Once I get high enough level fishing, though, I will probably try to do these guys because five percent is the highest i think we can get right now um special chance and i do want to get to that message in a bottle so i can get the skeleton fish for prayer points and the magic fish for money magic fish is also decent food so if i didn't unlock cooking i unlock fishing instead magic fish you can eat raw you don't need to cook them so that would have been a good option as well but i'm pretty happy with the choices i've made so far We'll have to see if I regret them later or not. But I think this is a pretty good place to leave it. I mean, I've got consistent money coming in now. I'm consistently leveling up my combat level and fishing at the same time. So tomorrow I should have like probably level 50 or 60 strength, level 50 or 60 fishing, and so many leaping trout that I can sell for it absolute metric load of money so um yeah i think that's a good place to leave it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the series as much as you seem to enjoy the last one yeah i've been captain bledmo thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace hello everybody and welcome to episode two of my hardcore adventure speed run playthrough so basically all i've been doing is i got a bunch of seahorses so now i have a bunch of food i have 57,000 seahorses that are perfect and i managed to get the seahorse mastery to level 99 so that increases the healing value the increased mastery xp gain is kind of insane like i've already maxed out cooking or cooking mastery is almost maxed out i maxed out this and i maxed out fishing and i have a few things at 99 already like golden fish is at 99 seahorse is 95 uh leaping salmon is at 99 i got a bunch of food and then i swapped over to skeleton fish Basically for the past full 24 hours, I've been only getting these. So these are worth, in total, 58 mil. Oh my lordy lord, that's way more than I thought. I'm gonna sell, maybe I'll just sell like, I'll keep a few of them. I'll sell 300,000 or so, and then I'll keep the rest. Oh, I guess I might as well go ahead and unlock prayer and then bury these. Okay, cool. So I also got the skill rings, I actually got a bunch of them. So that's cool, I might as well go ahead and sell my extras. There's a few extra million, that's pretty good. And I have a bunch of gems now from doing fishing, so that's handy for making bolts and things. So I might as well just sell everything. And then I'll open up all these chests. Bunch of stuff, I don't really care. Sell it all, another million. Okay, so we're 59 million. So I just unlocked prayer. The next skill costs 250,000. So I gotta think real quick. What is it that I want to unlock next? I think it's probably gonna be thieving. So that's, I'll go ahead and grab that. And I think I probably want astrology. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and get the next two combat skills. So that's done. What's the next one cost? 10 million. Um, I think I'll probably save my money for now until I need something. And I'll figure out where to go from there. So thieving, uh, the main reason I want this is for the damage absorption shield or the training shield. I want the, the knight's cape, which is I think the first cape you can get that gives you some damage reduction. So that's a good drop as well. And then the uh, mercenaries can drop all of the crossbows up to dragon crossbows so that's really nice as, as well there's a bunch of really great drops from thieving so i'm glad i got that astrology is mainly for the buffs you can get to combat xp and stuff like that increased defense level and things just a bunch of really great buffs in here this will probably be an overnight thing i do a couple times so yeah next is the 10 million skill so i'll have to patiently wait until i decide what i'm gonna do because i think it starts to get way more expensive after this one so i think first and foremost my goal today is to upgrade my gear substantially and actually speaking of that i think i know what skills i want to get and it's smith mining and smithing but i can unlock both of us is it 100 mil next 50 mil and then 100 mil yeah so mining and smithing is done i have a bunch of skills unlock now really nice main reason i want mining is for gold and silver because it's kind of annoying to get them um from just combat it's way faster to just mine and smith them so that'll make that substantially easier but yeah i have a bunch of food might as well go ahead and upgrade to auto eat three as well Oh my god, I didn't think about that. Whatever, that's fine. I completely forgot I was supposed to do that. I can get it later. So I'm gonna just kill a bunch of these mithril knights. When I left off, I think I was doing leaping trout last night to get strength. I got back on a little bit after that to do some combat and got my combat level up a little bit. 
And when I had came back, there was the message in a bottle. So I went ahead and used that and started going on seahorses overnight and then cooked those up in the morning. And then throughout that whole day, I was basically fishing seahorses and cooking them. And then that night I started fishing skeleton fish and been doing that all day today as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna kill these guys until I get the gear. I'm not really worried about anything because I have infinite food essentially. So this is a problem I'm noticing with this. Everything is still uh, 80% faster like it was in hardcore combat only but because there's a hundred percent more health uh, every combat encounter takes so much longer like killing these knights is a slog like watch how slow this fight is before I killed them so like it's taking so long so far I've only gotten the boots and the shield I think it might be better to just go ahead and level up my mining enough to craft them to be honest I will probably stick on these guys until I get attack and defense up to 30 I think that's a pretty good level to be at i'm not going to start running prayers yet until i can do some more damage but yeah i think it'd be faster just to um mine up the ore and make the gear myself i guess i'm still in that hardcore combat only mindset i need to remember that i have other options now all right so i've been doing this for about an hour and a half uh going between mining and smithing so i've got them caught up to my combat level the best i could do right now is the helmet the shield the boots the gloves and the sword so I don't have the plate body and the plate legs yet. I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade these. If you're starting a playthrough of this game, don't bother upgrading anything below steel. Um, I believe steel is the first armor that gives damage reduction when upgraded. And that's the main reason you want to be upgrading your armor is for the damage reduction. So uh, let me check something really quick. I might try and do the same thing I did in HCCO and try and get some jewels and gems, some uh, amulets and rings for combat. Uh, probably I'll get into thieving some. I think that's a good bet as well because there's some items I really need from thieving and it can make me some money as well. But I'll probably go kill mummies because I want the gold topaz ring because I can get the signet ring in this and that would be a really big help. Basically double on my gold income uh, except for selling items I think. So it would really make thieving a lot more valuable than fishing because it'd be making twice the money essentially. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get that. And I also need to get, I guess I might as well refresh my Slayer tasks on the mummies. But I want to get some um, combat uh, j jewelry as well, just for the little extra power spike. So yeah, I need to start leveling up Slayer a bit and starting to collect some Slayer coins because a lot of the really good items you can get in the uh, early to mid game come from the Slayer areas like the uh, Arid Plains, you can get the Elorine Spear, you get the Sandstorm Ring, you get the uh, Sand Treaders from these, Desert Wrappings, so those are all really good. And then obviously I need the Ring for the Ancient Claw. Go ahead and start leveling up Slayer, collecting Slayer coins. Wow, I got the Silver Diamond Ring immediately in this. I don't think I ever even got that on HCCO, but that's handy. And then Gold Emerald Ring is good as well. I guess I'll move all these. I need to start organizing now. Yeah, I'll try to level up combat a little bit more, past level 50 at least, so that I can get, I think, what's the max level I need for Mithril Gear? 57. So if I can get my combat up to 57, then I can ground out the full Mithril set. But by that time, I'll probably be level 40 defense, so... I want adamant gear then but i think honestly i might be able to just skip adamant gear and go straight to rune instead i think that might make a lot more sense i'm gonna go ahead and equip the gold topaz ring actually i really want that signet ring it's kind of hard to get but it could be really nice to have i think what i'll do now is go clear spider force some because i think i should be able to safely do that i'm gonna go ahead and put on my silver diamond ring just for a little extra damage reduction uh, and i might as well throw on like the strength amulet or the attack amulet is probably better for this for dungeons and i'll go in here i'll keep an eye on the damage but i think i should be able to survive everything especially with the extra health thank you guys for all the support on the first episode by the way it kind of popped off like crazy in the first day it got like 1200 views so thank you guys very much see i'll probably grind this out for a little bit and try to get hopefully level 40 attack too because then i can go get the eye sword immediately after this and that'd be a pretty big power spike as well, but I really want the amulet of looting. Just in case I decide to do any combat overnight, I have the food to do that. I just need the ability to pick up items, so it's not a waste of time. And then I might be able to start going for elite amulet of defense and things like that. Probably what I'll do this tonight is um, just start on thieving. Uh, probably do start thieving man until I go to bed. And then I'll go to thieving woman overnight so I can get that fine coin purse, which is a really great item. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you once I have the amulet of looting. 
All right, so finally I managed to get the Amulet of Looting and attack is well over level 40. So I'm going to immediately go get the Ice Sword right now because that is a huge upgrade. That shouldn't take me too long. It's not that rare of a drop from these guys. Yeah, the Amulet of Looting did kind of take me a while though, to be honest. All right, Ice Sword just dropped after a few minutes. So that's done. Very, very nice. Next, oh, let's see, what should I do? Let's see, I've got... Uh, I think what's essentially the best stuff on I have right now, except for if I wanted to level up smithing a bunch more to 57. Well, I can, yeah, I think I'll just run from this combat and I'll run through smithing real quick. I'll probably kind of keep you guys updated uh, with what's going on, but this is going to be pretty boring, so I'm not going to narrate all of it. I'm probably going to move from this uh, once I hit level... Hopefully I can hit level 57 tonight, I'm not sure, it's already pretty late. Um, but I'll get up as high as I can, um, try and get the full mithril set if I can. When I'm about to uh, get off my computer, I'll start working on thieving a little bit and get that going for overnight. Uh, with the gold topaz ring equipped, just in case a signet ring drops. Let me see if I've actually missed any yet, because it tells you here, signet ring half missed, so I haven't missed any yet. Alright, so I got uh, smithing to 55, I was able to get the paint, uh, plate legs, I'm gonna upgrade these all the way and go ahead and put these on. That's all I really have. To oh, shit. I'm out of gold. Okay, well, I have to get some more gold to fully upgrade these, but that's fine. Probably going to go ahead and start working on thieving a little bit. I should have enough food for it to not be the problem. These guys only hit for max 193, so that's not a big deal at all. Um, So I'll just try and level up my thieving. Oh, I might be able to go and get... Uh, I'll try and get um the thief's gloves as a runic rope. Okay, so I have to be Slayer level 45 for that. So I can't do that quite yet. Uh, that'll, that'll be another thing. But I can buy the thief gloves. And that'll help me out a little bit. I'll buy 10, sure. Make sure you give me a bunch of charges on that. Enough to get me up to um pretty high mastery with these. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it for me. Uh thank you guys for watching. I've been Captain Blamo. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello everybody, and welcome to episode three of my hardcore adventure speedrun series. Sorry if I sound a little gross. I'm feeling pretty sick right now. Um, so first thing I did since last video, I've been working through thieving a lot. So I ran through a bunch of these. I've got all the thieving gear I pretty much want. In here is my skilling tab. So I've got all these. Uh, also, I got the thievers cape too, but I have that on right now because I don't have any other cape to replace it. But I have been leveling up combat while I've been trying to get the elite amulet of defense. So once I can, I'm gonna go in here to the fort, I think, and start thieving the squires. And hopefully I can get the knight's cape. And that gives 1% damage reduction, so that'd be good, pretty good. Um, also, I've got the signet ring already. I don't know how this happened. Yeah, I got it overnight while I was thieving. And then I was like, oh, shit. Well, I should go ahead and get the other piece too. So I put the gold topaz ring on, went to killing these things. Uh, and after a while, like a couple hours, it dropped. So I was pretty lucky. If I have this, that's pretty huge. It doubles my gold income. But that's not a problem for me right now. I've got 180 million. I might go ahead in here and get, so I got dungeon equipment swapping, that's nice. But yeah, I'm just waiting on that last three amulets of defense so I can upgrade it. And then I've got a bunch of things I can do. I could go and get the mithril play body um, or work up smithing a little bit more so I can get a full set of adamant gear. I'm not sure. I do have a bunch of adamant bars. The, I think the marauder. One of the enemies I've been thieving drops them. It was the Goblin Chief. So the Goblin Chief can drop adamantite bars. That's where I got them from. That makes sense. So I could do that. I could also start doing thieving to get the Knight's Cape, like I said before. Uh, as you can see, food is still not a problem. Uh, barely been going through any. And I bought Auto Eat 3, obviously, because I had the money after thieving all night. So that's all good there. But yeah, just waiting on this to drop. And I'll figure out where to go after that. All right, so I finally have gotten all 100 that I need to upgrade this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's very good. That'll make dungeons a lot uh, easier to get to sooner. So I'll go ahead and run from this. I got combat level up to 79. And I think I have decided what I'm going to do first. So someone t reminded me that I can get the, th the smithing gloves. And they give plus 60% smithing XP. So thank you very much, commenter. So yeah, I'm going to start working on smithing. And hopefully I can get up to adamant gear soon. That would be very good. Oh, I guess the purple goo monsters dropped them too. I'm, gonna, I'm a little goofy. I do have a bunch of coal as well. So that's handy. Why do I have so much coal? Where did I get coal from? Oh, it must have been from thieving, right? Who drops coal? Goblin chief drops coal. I did park on these guys overnight, so that makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to work on getting my smithing up. So I'll be back at you in a little bit. 
I at least want to be able to mine adamant. I think that'll be pretty handy. And then I'll work on smithing everything up once I have a bunch of ore. Uh, hopefully I can get to the point where I can get to the full adamant set. I need to be level 72 and my combat level is far beyond that. So hopefully this won't take me too long, especially since I've already got a bunch of ore to start off with. But yeah, see you guys soon. So this is where I've gotten to. I managed to get smithing up to level 70, uh, just using the bars and ores that I had. I did mine some mithril to help up with the leveling process, and I used a bunch of smithing glove charges. Um, so I'm almost full adamant minus the plate body, so that's all good. Uh, this is this would probably be the kit I would bring into dungeons. Wait, hold up. I gotta put these gloves on. Yeah, this would probably be the kit I would bring into dungeons. Uh, I could probably start doing some. I think what I might do is try to get Sunset Rapier tonight. I think that'd be pretty good. Uh, overnight, I'll probably work on Astrology because I want some of them XP buffs because leveling up everything is really, really slow. Um, and because everything is so fast, I should get a bunch of, um, Stardust and stuff overnight. But yeah, I think I'm going to try to do Deep Sea Ship just so I can get the... Sunset Rapier. So I'll start running through this. It probably is going to take a while, especially with that last fight, since uh, everything's HP is so much higher. But you know, it should be okay. I know I can at least clear it. Like, I'm pretty strong. I've got decent gear on. But the Eye Sword is pretty terrible, so it might take a while. Terrible for this level of uh, dungeons, I mean. So it'll take a while to clear it, but hopefully it won't take me too long to get the sword. Uh, I'll see what the damage of the boss is. If it's not really high, what I can do is wear the, the Chapo Noyar, since it has a chance to double loot in combat, and I can also wear this uh, Signet Ring, because it also has a chance to gain double... Oh, shit. It says 5% chance to gain double loot from slain monsters. So is that different? This is double loot in combat, so I assume this is not this does not count treasure chest. I'll have to look on the wiki for that one. Well, the wiki seems kind of vague about it, so uh, let's see, fifteen hundred. Yeah, I can afford to put these on, so I'm gonna put these on. Now it's sixteen hundred. I've got fifty-two hundred. Yeah, like I thought, this is going to take a long time. This thing has so much health. I'm just chipping away at it slowly, but I'll get back to you once I've cleared it as many times as I can tonight and we'll go through the process of opening up the chests and then I'll start going on to overnight stuff. All right, so at this point it is like one in the morning and uh, it's been 40 minutes and I've cleared it 10 times. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and open these up and I probably won't get it. Oh, I did get it. Oh my God. I'm so, so happy. That would have been so annoying. Well, I've got to level up attack a little bit, but that's fine. I'm just glad I got it, because this was taking so long. And this video is already going to be short. I want to try and get as much as I can in here to so get you guys some more content. I don't know why I still have these steel scimitars. I should probably sell these. What else can I do tonight? I guess I could run in here and try and get paladin gloves. Yeah, I'll do that, actually. It's not a bad idea. I should be using my secondary... Um, Secondary equipment set. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab Paladin Gloves really quick. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh my god, my chance to hit so low. I need to get attacked up to 70 soon. I really need to have that Sunset Rapier on. Alright, so I've been doing this for 40 minutes. I've killed 73 Paladins. So far, no drop. And it is like 140, so I'm probably gonna go and um, start working on overnight stuff. Try and get this another time, probably. Uh, this is just taking too long and I have to get to sleep. Um, what I could probably do is go ahead and start working on thieving uh, and try and get up to where I can get Knight's Cape tonight. I think that might be a good goal. I don't know. Did I sell them by accident? There's no way. Am I that silly? Oh, I totally did. Whoops. I sold my thieving gloves on accident. Let me move that so that doesn't happen again. So I'll work on getting up to the Squire. So I need level 66. I don't really care about the money right now. I'll probably put on the skill ring instead. Why does he keep stunning me? It's literally 95%. I guess I can just go ahead and spend some mastery to get this guy leveled up. Uh, I've been working on Squire. So I've got Squire up to level 71 already, just pumping in extra max mastery XP I have. Uh, so that should be no problem once I actually get there. Yeah, everything's kind of slowing down now. I think this is probably the time to maybe slow it down, drop it down to like two episodes a week or something like that. I'm not totally sure. Like, even the past two days. I think the problem is just that I'm doing so many other things. Like, combat I can talk about, right? It's like, yeah, I'm going to go do this and get this drop. And do this and do this drop. And I can show you guys that process. But with the skills, it's kind of like, okay, I have to do this. And let this thing sit for like three hours. To get up to the point I want to be at. That's not fun to watch. So, 
probably drop down to a week maybe start streaming or something get another little series going on the side something like that um but i think that's all i can do in terms of combat today i mean hello everybody welcome to episode four of my hardcore adventure speed run playthrough as you can see a lot has changed i've been grinding this out over the weekend i've got smithing up to 90 I had to get my combat level up to 96 just so I can manage to get high enough smithing to get the full rune set. So that's done. It's all fully upgraded and good. I go in and got the paladin gloves, got the knight cape from thieving. Um, so my kit is pretty good. The only thing I would want to do is probably get the sandstorm ring because that deals max health damage. And because of the increased health, I, I bet that'd be really good here. So I've been grinding up slayer tasks and I'm going to get the desert hat i think right yeah i'm gonna get the desert hat and i'm gonna run in here and start killing these sand beasts shouldn't be any kind of problem for me at all but my ring slot is the main thing i don't really have that good of an item for other than the uh silver diamond ring which just gives one percent damage reduction it's not that great i would much rather have the sandstorm ring so yeah i'm gonna grind this out really quick and i'll get back to you once it drops and then we'll probably go do some dungeons okay well it literally dropped 30 kills so uh, that was extremely fast. I'm not complaining. I'm gonna get fully geared up here. Make sure I don't accidentally sell that. Make sure I don't accidentally sell these. Yeah, so I think this is my dungeon kit. I'm probably just gonna immediately just skip everything, pretty much. Uh, I did dry, deep sea ship a bunch. I have the sunset rape here. I don't really care. I just need to go in and do volcanic cave a few times, probably. But I'll probably watch it. I did also level up prayer a little bit, so that's up to level 59. I'm probably going to throw on Safeguard and then Incredible Reflexes, uh, and that'll just be my prayer kit for this. Shouldn't be too bad. I'll keep an eye on the damage, but I'm pretty overgeared and overleveled for this. Oh, I should probably switch it from block. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. Not looking like anything can even come close to killing me at all. And finally, onto Malx. Yeah, no problem. Obviously, it's still going to be really slow because of the health values, but yeah, I can clear this. I'm not eating through that much food either just because I have so much. Um, so I'm probably going to run through this a bunch of times. I'll get back to you once we can open some chests. Okay, so it has been almost a full week since I recorded that first part, and I have been grinding. As you can see, 1,000 elite chests. I've got cooking maxed out. I've been cooking up some whales. Uh, I've been running through my uh, seahorses. I had to run through a bunch of them for Volcanic Cave. So I had like the original 80,000 that dropped down to 40,000. I went to get a bunch more and cooked a bunch up. Once I hit high enough fishing and cooking level, I went to whales because they're just better food. Um, but yeah, I was waiting. I was stocking up all, all these so I can open them up. I wanted to maybe have a chance of getting all 10 Amulets of Fury. And, you know, even with a thousand of them, that's not really high. But let's go ahead and open them up. Oh, I got 15 of them. Holy. And I got the full set, of course, because it was a thousand chests. Now, if I did my math right, I should have at least enough to fully upgrade everything. Minus dragon fire shield. I don't have any dragon modes right now. That'll probably take a while because the double health. That'll be a next week thing. I'm not sure if I'll continue to upload just once a week, but we'll see. Depends on how quickly I start making progress. Everything's still like slowing down a little bit, so we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so I've got full ancient set. We're very, very nice. Very good. Probably hold on to all the black dragon hide armor. I do need to start leveling up ranged at some point so I can start going through the god dungeons. All right, so I'm chilling. So I've got full. I guess I'll go ahead and put on my dungeoning set. So this would be the set I would use for dungeons. Uh, 17,200 health, 6,880 auto eat, and 41% DR. That's pretty damn good. The next thing I'll probably do for this video is get up a uh, range to... Let me see what level I need to get up to real quick. Level 40. So I need to get ranged up to level 40 so I can equip the full eye set. And then I'll make it pretty easy to go through and level up ranged a bit more. Yeah, okay, I'm ranged level 2. I think what I'm probably going to do is I did get fletching just because I already have, you know, mining and smithing. So I can pretty easily make uh, crossbow bolts once I get the levels. And I do already have a dragon crossbow saved from thieving marauders. So that's good there. We've got 250 mil still in the bank. I do have the crown, the circlet. I need to get to the other part of it, the jewel. I do not have that yet. What I might do is go through bandit base a few times because you can get the pretty decent longbows and a bunch of arrows. But I don't think I can use those yet though. I think the only thing I can really do is kill these ranged goblins for the normal the normal short bow and the arrows. And then once I get to level three, I can stop using a slingshot up to like level 10 or so, maybe 20. And that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'll probably just throw the ranged weapon on with my melee character 
um, cause there's no real ranged gear I can equip. The damage reduction is kind of like negligible, so it should be okay. So yeah, I'm going to build up a nice amount of arrows, at least enough to get me up to level three, probably a hundred or so. All right, I've got 50. I feel like that's probably enough to get me up to at least where I can use the slingshot. So I'm going to throw one of these on, equip the arrows, go and kill just uh, what's my max damage? 405. And what do goblins have? A thousand so i'll just ki kill these goblins for a little bit once i hit level three which shouldn't take very long oh yeah I'm, I'm just gonna use up all my arrows first and once i use up all my arrows i'll swap to the slingshot and then i'll do that for a little bit maybe half an hour or so see how far up i can get with the range if i can get to level 20 or so 30 i'm gonna check the wiki and see if i can equip any of those bows that are in the bandit base the maple longbow and stuff and then I can start clearing this for these arrows that's one of the better ways to get arrows I think I can't really make arrows that efficiently because I don't have any source of wood I know that in thieving I can get some like from goblin chief I think I can get you and maple which are pretty efficient for arrows but I don't really care about arrows at all like I'm only using bows until I can get high enough level to use a crossbow and then I'm never using a bow again so I'll just level up as much as I can I'm out of arrows I'm gonna swap over to slingshot it doesn't do much damage so it's kind of slow I still should level up pretty I think if I hit level 5 ranged I can equip steel arrows I'd have to check yeah level 5 so right now I could I think I might do that this is super inefficient um, so I'm going to equip my melee gear again, and I'm going to run through the bandit base a bunch of times. I guess I might as well go ahead and sell all this stuff as well. Start going through bandit base and uh, getting up some arrows and higher level bows. So I'll probably clear this a hundred times or so. This should not take any time at all to clear, um, but I really only care about getting up arrows to get me up to level 40. And I feel like that's a pretty decent stopping point. I unlocked fletching, like I said. I think I might want to go for agility next, something like that. Agility can give you extra max health and damage reduction, extra damage, stuff like that. Uh, and it's pretty decent for making money, especially with a signet ring. So it's not that big of a waste of time. It's just that it takes materials from all of the non-combat skills and some of the combat skills to get some of the obstacles I would want. So it's a little complicated, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll get back to you once I've cleared this a bunch of times and collected a bunch of arrows. All right, so I've cleared it 60 times now. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all these, see what kind of arrows I can get. I think this is enough. Yeah, for sure is enough. So yeah, I got the maple one, which is level 50, and the or magic one level 50, maple is level 30. So maple I'll be able to use fairly soon. Uh, I also remembered that I have Chapo no Noyar in this, so I equipped that. So that gives a chance to double chests. So I'm going to throw these on. I'm going to go ahead and equip the Oak Short Bow. This is the best I can do right now. I'm going to run through and max hit is 509. Go back to Goblins. Or Golbins, sorry. And hopefully, let's see. So these are level 5. I have 1400. I think Rune is level... Oh, sorry. Uh, Mithril is level 20. Uh, Adamant is level 30. Rune is 40. And Dragon is 50, right? No, Dragon is 50 or 60 so rune goes from 40 to 60 but once i hit level 60 i can equip the dragon crossbow and at that point i'm not going to worry about any more bows and arrows these are also these are level 70 but i think these are probably worth leveling up because i don't know about grinding out ancient gear right now ancient dragon hide gear i don't really care about the drops i'm gonna just try and minimize the amount of food i go through probably be back once i go either go through all my arrows or hit my level goal which is level 40 for the ice gear i think that'll give me a pretty good ranged kit for leveling so yeah, i'll get back to you in a minute all right so after a while of grinding i just um managed to i just managed to get to level 40 ranged so at this point i'm probably just going to equip my melee gear go into the ice dungeon frozen cove it a bunch of times until i get the full ice set and that'll be good to go for my leveling kit i'm probably just going to end the video here it's already pretty long um thank you guys for watching i've been captain blemo and i'll see you next time peace Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of my Hardcore Adventure speedrun playthrough. So, as you can see, over the last week, I've leveled up range to 85, so that's good. Can start going into those god dungeons, getting some work done, getting some better gear. I've been working on magic over the past couple days. Runes has been kind of annoying. I did go ahead and spend 100 million to unlock rune crafting. So, my next skill is going to cost 200 million, which is kind of bonkers. I'm almost there, but I'm not sure what else I want to unlock really right now. You may also see that I do have the Atlas of Discovery expansion skills. I'm not going to be using those here. I want this to stay purely vanilla, just because I know some people are following along with me and I really don't want them to be left out of anything. Trying to get up magic a bit. This is going to take a while. I don't know if I'll be able to get to this tonight, but I can start doing God Dungeons. Um, what I have done 
is gone to, uh, through melee. I guess we'll stop this. And I got uh, the Dragon Moons for Dragonfire Shield, so that's done. Not sure where it was at last time. Uh, maxed out attack. 158,000 whales. I've been running through my seahorses. Got a bunch of whales. Still have a bunch more to cook, but I'm okay for now. I got the Crown of Relics, which is pretty nice. So this means I can have a higher chance to preserve my resources pretty handy yeah, you can see my fletching is level one i didn't really bother to do any of that essentially what i was doing is overnight i would go on my melee character and i would idle bandit base overnight and then when i would get back in the morning i'd have a bunch of arrows so i would just throw in the arrows with this setup here and with the elite amulet of defense build emerald ring and then i just run through slayer tasks so i have a absolute metric shit ton of slayer coins now that's pretty nice. I have maxed out bank slots. Not sure if I was there before. I'm gonna try to see if I can start going through God Dungeons. I think what I am gonna want to do first though is get the Ancient Claw, definitely. I do have Chapo Noyar and I can easily go and buy the thing. Slayer's more than high enough level for it. So I'm gonna buy this, uh, throw it on, go into here and get working. So I need to kill these, kill these Pegasi. They can drop the Ancient Claw Fragments, I need 100. This is gonna take a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to get it tonight. If not, this is gonna be fine. The damage reduction is what really matters, but getting this would help my clear speed a lot. Um, I do also have Sandstorm Ring, so that'll help a little bit because of max hit point damage and it's unavoidable attacks. I figured these guys are probably gonna be annoying because of the way their healing works. They heal a percent of their max HP. It's really difficult to do anything to them. Let me make sure I'm on stab. And I'll probably put on Prayer Improved Reflexes. Maybe both of these, actually. So that's four. That gives me 44, 45% extra. That should make it pretty easy to get through these guys. And um, is there anything else I can do right now? I can put on the Amulet of Fury. I think I might actually do that. That'll give me some extra accuracy and stuff like that. This is, this is just going to take a while. It's not like this is very hard. Um, so I'm going to try and grind these out real quick for probably about an hour, hour and a half. And if I don't have them by then, I'll get back to you, and we'll just have to go through the god dungeons with this setup, I guess. Alright, this is seeming like an overnight thing. What I'll probably do is just, uh, this might come out a little later in the day. I'll probably just record the rest of this tomorrow morning, and then uh, clear their god dungeon a bunch of times. In the meantime, because I've killed 73 of these things, just about. And I have not gotten one. That is probably the worst luck I have had ever. So I'm going to be chilling on these for a while. So yeah, see you guys soon. So so it took a lot longer than I thought it would. But I actually did finally manage to get Ancient Claw. And then after that I did end up grinding out magic. So we're about to go on a crazy run. I've got hit points maxed out. Which is pretty handy. Uh, let me get my full kit on real quick. So this is my full dungeoning kit. I got 43 DR, maxed out health, and I did get dragon fire shield, so I've got the damage reduction from that and the extra health from that. Um, I'm pretty super geared. I think I should be able to pretty easily clear air god. What I'm going to do is go into prayer. I'm going to turn on chivalry and safeguard, uh, and then we're going to go into it and have a go. So hopefully this goes all right. I don't think I should have any problems. I especially won't have any problems with any of these trash mobs at the start here. Alright, we're on floor 2. Nothing's even coming close to being able to kill me yet. On to floor 3, so far still no problems. With the grinding out magic and getting the ancient claw, it took me about 2 days, like 2 full days. Well, the magic wasn't too bad because I already had it at like 83. So I just slammed that out overnight uh, after I got the ancient claw, so. Pretty happy though, I should be ready to go through every single god dungeon at this point. Just gearing up. And an infernal stronghold. That's why, that's one of the reasons I wanted to go ahead and get the Ancient Claw. Because once I get the magic gear, I can pretty easily, pretty easily clear Infernal Stronghold. Get the Infernal Cores, I just need to go get the Dragon Claw, but that shouldn't be as bad. And then I can get the Infernal Claw, which is a very good weapon. Still no issues on Floor 4. Just can, like, uh, hit from, hit me for, like, half my auto value, but it's no problem. Oh, I'm on Attack, too. I'm on Strength, too. I'm gonna swap over. The next ability I'm gonna get is definitely gonna be Agility. The extra health and accuracy and stuff I can get from there. I'm pretty close to being able to afford it because um, it's 200 million, but I really need to make some money. I think I'll probably do some more thieving overnight tonight. Go ahead and get a decent amount of money. Okay, we're almost into final boss here. So far, still no problems. Okay, let me look through this. Oh, this is easy. Yeah, I have plenty of food, so that shouldn't be a problem. Obviously, 
I can clear this pretty easily. Uh, so I'm just going to sit here and go through this. I don't think I need the prayer points either. They're just helpful. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and run through this a bunch of times. And I'll get back to you once I've cleared it like 10 or so times maybe. And we can get into opening. And then we'll move on to the Water God Dungeon. So I look forward to that. All right, I got my 10 clears. I'm going to open these up. All right, I got the gloves, the boots, and the helmet. That ain't that good. I kind of do need the full set because I don't have any other good ranged armor. So if I want to actually clear that dungeon, I'm going to need it. I can always just throw this shit on the, the ancient play legs, ancient play body. But I'll probably clear it a few more times just to see if I can't get that armor. Look at these two scrolls I just opened. That's crazy. Okay, now I can equip these on my ranger. So that's very nice. That's good. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is equip the dragon crossbow. And then I'll equip the dragon fire shield and this. Because that's my best DR right now. I don't have scaled shield or anything. This is the best I got. I'm looking on crossbow bolts. I don't think I have very many. That's perfectly fine. Let me go ahead and upgrade these. See if I can get any decent amount of bolts out of this. Um, nothing that good. What I'm probably just going to do is... I guess I can sell all this stuff. I'm never gonna use any of it. I'm probably gonna do. I'll probably get some of these Slayer packs. So I'll get like 10 of the standard one. And that gives me 2,000 bolts. Should be pretty good. This is my kit. I don't have any prayer points anymore. So I think this should be more than enough to handle this. I guess let me equip like a uh, silver diamond ring. Because I don't have any better ranged uh, ring, really. Go in here into a water god dungeon. Keep a close eye on everything, but I'm, I mean, I'm pretty geared right now. I've got full god armor. This should not be any sort of problem for me. So once I clear this, I'll do it like 10 or so times like I did before. Um, or at least until I can get the full set of magic gear. Oh shit, that's not good. I almost fried myself. I just wanted to check and see. So it's been overnight. I did wood cutting overnight, I think, but I didn't have time last night to clear the dungeon anymore. But I got 10 of these now, so I'm going to open these up. Uh, I still need the plate body, but that's almost the full set. I can go ahead and equip everything I have. I don't think I'm going to go into Infernal Cave, Infernal Stronghold, or um, the Earth God Dungeon today. What I will do, though, is try and go get the Dragon Claw. So by the next time you see me, I'll definitely have that Dragon Claw. I don't know if I care enough to get the plate body, because I can make the Air Expert stuff. And that gives decent DR. I think it'll probably be enough to get me through the Earth God Dungeon and Infernal Stronghold. And this dungeon, Glacia has so much health. It just takes so long to clear. Especially with the double health stuff. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to go get the Dragon Claw. You get those from in the Highlands from the Griffins. They can drop the Dragon Claw fragments. It's a lot faster to get than the Ancient Claw. But obviously the Ancient Claw is way better. But you need both for the Infernal Claw. You also need 10 Infernal Cores from the Infernal Stronghold. So I need to clear that 10 times once I can. Which will be next video. So thank you guys for watching. I've been Captain Blamo. Stay tuned for more episodes. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello everybody. Welcome to episode 6 of my Hardcore Adventure Speedrun playthrough. Now if you remember where we left off last time. I had just cleared the Air God Dungeon and the Water God Dungeon enough times to get some decent gear. So my range character is looking pretty good. I do have some like uh, thieving stuff on. I was going through some skills earlier, but I think I got most of the set. I'll go ahead and put everything on, get ready for dungeons. Yeah, so I think this is the best I can do with ranged kit. Um, I do need to get a better shield because I kind of have to swap it between. So it's going to make fire god dungeon hard. But for right now, I'm definitely going to have to move this over to my wizard. This is my wizard setup. What I definitely want to do is get the elite amulet of defense over on this guy. And I think I got some powerful magic wands. I uh, need to sell some stuff. In between last episode, it hasn't been that much time, just a few days. But I've been going through agility. So I got a bunch of things that will be very, very helpful. So a bunch of extra hit points and extra damage reduction and stuff like that. So I'm up to max hit points level, and I have uh, 22,800 with the dragon fire shield. So that's pretty handy. I'm a lot tankier now for sure. Now I just have to um, check my runes. I death runes. Best magic I can use right now uses ancient runes. I don't know if I can even make ancient runes. I can't. Um, so, but that's fine. And then I think I want to get the. What do I have on my body right now? Is it air adept? Because I think that's the best I can craft. But I think I should be okay. 50% DR. 
I can put on stone skin and safeguard for the first clear just to make sure I'm safe. But I think this is all I can do. I'll probably run, I guess I run fire blast. I think that's the best spell I can really use. I have, should have plenty of runes for this. But yeah, let's get into the Earth God Dungeon and see what we can do. So I know the First Lord does kind of test you a little bit. You do have to deal with some ranged enemies. Let me make sure I swap to my whales. Another good thing about leveling up agility is um, there are some that can give you extra food healing value. So like plus 10% food healing value. I guess I can look at my... Yeah, here. So plus 15% food healing value, just overall, plus 3% global GP, just a bunch of cool stuff, 5% chance to double items globally, bunch of handy stuff like that. I'll get back to you once we're on the final boss, um, but I don't think this should be too much of an issue. Alright, so I just cleared it for the first time, we got the 100 air shards, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the first scroll we got here. The gloves, of course, throw those on, upgrade this and open it. Just some coal. I can definitely sell these now. I'm just happy to finally be gearing up my melee character a little bit more. I think at some point, probably over the next, over the weekend and next week, I'll have to grind out um, scaled shields. I think that's probably a good idea before I go and do um, the fire god dungeon. But definitely what I'm going to do today is do earth god and then do infernal stronghold with my magic. Because I need the infernal cores. I already have both the ancient claw and the dragon claw, which I got last video. Um, so then I can get the infernal claw and that'll carry me pretty far. But yeah, I'm going to clear this probably a few more times and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Alright, I think I've cleared it enough times. This one was super slow, but I got three clears on it. So I got- ooh, that's not bad. I got the pants. I was afraid I would just get gloves. But I'm not that far behind when it comes to melee gear. It's mostly just, uh, ancient gear anyway. And that's only 1% additional damage reduction, right? Yeah, seven, it goes from 7% to 8%. So it's not that big of a buff, really. But I am glad I got these three. But yeah, next up, I guess, is we're just going to go ahead and start clearing. Let me check my runes. I'm good. I'm going to start clearing um, Infernal Stronghold. I need to clear this ten times, and then I'll be able to get Infernal Claw. Now, if I'm if I'm uh, remembering this right, I think we're beyond where I got to on my other hardcore series before we died. So, like, knock on wood and everything, but I think we're doing way better. And hopefully we'll be able to beat the game. But yeah, I'll get back with you after I've cleared this 10 times. Alright, I'm just gonna run from this. I finally got all 10 that I need. Which means I can go down to my equipment. Change equipment to my melee set. Unequip this. Go into here. Click on this. Upgrade. Boom. That's awesome. That feels so good. Yes, this is a very good weapon. It basically has the same ability as that Ancient Claw, but it adds one extra attack to it. Very, very good. Uh, for the rest of this video, what I'll probably do is, um, first I'm going to go get the scaled shields, which is, this is going to take me a while because I need the scaled shields and I also need to go get poisonous scales, I think, but this should not be that hard. I'm going to do it with my melee kit and I'm going to do it with Chapo Noir equipped because this shouldn't be much of a problem, uh, in terms of actually being able to clear. Gotta be careful, pay attention to, you know, what kit I have on. Yeah, I think this is good, so. I can just let this do its thing, but I'm, I'm going to equip the sandstorm wing though, because that's pretty good. And then yeah, uh, eventually I'll have the skilled shields. I need to, I want two, um, for magic and for ranged. So I'll get back to you when, once I have those. Alright, so it's been a day. Kind of got everything good to go. Got the two skilled shields I needed. 54%, 54%. Alright, let's turn on damage reduction pairs for every class. Uh, with these two, the other one is, my magic set is stuck at... 54 this is already with the damage reduction prayer so i don't know what i'm missing here probably just this uh, which i can't really get anything better at the moment i'm still got plenty of runes should so now we're gonna try the fire god dungeon so let's hit this use my brain just swap to whatever class is good against whatever i'm fighting use a combat triangle i should be able to clear this fine sorry if i sound a little funny now i got a little uh sickly between recording segments. My throat's a little messed up. Okay, a lot of melee on this floor. Just the trash mobs. I can't, I don't really remember what this dungeon is like. I want to start collecting some bank tokens though. Because I've already reached the max amount I can purchase. So hopefully, uh, I might grind out these a little bit between episodes to try and get some bank tokens. If I get enough, I'll get Township because there's one where you can get a bunch of bank tokens and if, I, if i'm already at this point in the game the township tasks will be great for me so that might be what i unlock next but it is 500 mil i'm at a billion almost right now i'm three mil off a bill yeah i'm gonna go through this i don't think anything will be able to kill me as long as i keep an eye on the combat triangle you can also see now i have the throne of the herald dlc as well it was on sale so i grabbed it i might get into that stuff later 
after like we've reached the end of uh, the base game on this uh, challenge. But unfortunately, my uh, attack levels, my combat levels will all go beyond that. Can't really do anything to help that. But yeah, I might be able to get into some of that content after we clear everything. I really don't want to use any of it because it kind of gives you an unfair advantage uh, over the base game. And I want people to be able to follow along with me here. All right, final boss. And we're perfectly fine. Ragnar ain't got nothing on this. Yeah, the skill shields weren't that bad. That was just overnight grind on Dragon's Den. Or no, I did. So I went to these toxic swamps and killed these noxious serpents, I think. Yeah, overnight. And then, uh, but I had way more than enough when I woke up. And then throughout the day, I just cleared Dragon's Den like a thousand times. But that also led to me getting the ancient crossbow. Okay, we cleared the Fire God dungeon. So this has just melee gear that's like uh, less damage reduction and more aggressive more it gives you more strength bonuses and stuff so it's good for farming lower levels and things i always get scared by this uh atlas of discovery upgrades the barrier upgrades yeah i'll hold on to this that could be handy then i'll get the fire chest open it up there's a bunch of silver that don't hurt now we have into the mist unlocked and i don't know if i can reasonably accomplish this yet i guess i can give it a try i assume it's going to be the same thing where I just switch between my classes. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I'm perfectly okay. Well, this shows me I can definitely handle the normal bounty hunters, probably. They will make grinding for Fez way easier. And I think I'm gonna start streaming soon on this channel. I set up Streamlabs today to stream to here. And I'd love it if you guys stop by. Make sure to subscribe so you can see uh, if and when I go live. I don't have a set schedule yet. You know, if enough people tune into them, I might come up with one. This affliction is very scary. Why am I using like garbage spells? Slicing winds? Oh, they also get 20% extra damage reduction on top of the base uh, enemy. That's interesting. I haven't cleared this on my main account yet. This is all new for me. This thing is scary because it attacks so fast. It's bringing down my uh, my HP really quickly. I think I should be able to do this actually. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. I'm just trying to pay attention to, you know, the combat triangle like I said. Because some of these things are really scary. Oh no. I'm not Ignis. Dungeon pause to use this time pr to prepare. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I think this is the first time in the game. Oh, is that a cat god? I, it kind of looks like a cat. I gotta be real. Oh no, those are those are human lips. I got magic. I got plenty of runes. Oh, I'm kind of running on ancients, but yeah, I should be okay. Um, I guess what I should do is go ahead and swap. I'll put on the silver diamond ring just in case, and I'll throw on the amulet, elite amulet of defense. And I think this is the best I can do. That's how I go. I don't like seeing my health bar go down that fast. Even when I'm mark of mark of death, I'm okay. Wait, what? Oh no. Immune to all ranged and magic attacks? Okay, hopefully that was good enough. Oh, it's healing. Heals the enemy for 100% of damage dealt. So I think this is probably going to be a really long fight. But I am chipping away at her. But did the reap in return? Yeah, look. It just keeps, he keeps healing. I think it might be better for prayers. They're running this. Melee evasion. Probably still stone skin. But melee evasion because the reaping reward is avoidable so higher evasion is really nice and i think i can live without the dr all right yeah keep doing the normal damage attacks don't use reap hey hey don't do that no more come on get down to half yes half okay below half below half do not heal back up please we're getting closer the reaping return is kind of killing me but it's not that bad except for that what the hell 29 percent I'll just start swapping to block as soon as I see reap and return. I don't know if this is actually helping, but I'm gonna assume. I'll just leave it. So this is just phase one of the fight, but we're getting really close now. Just don't heal back up. Come on. Die, die, die. Yes. Okay, so now I'm now it's swapped over to range, so I gotta prepare my ranged. My ranged is my most geared though. So I'll definitely swap from this to this one. I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of stone skin too. I don't think I need it. All right, let's check it out. So basically the same deal, same uh, moves pretty much, except for the third one. It's an extra time per mark of death stack applied to you. The enemy is random on this. Give the enemy plus 20% global evasion, plus 40% damage reduction, and plus minus 20% attack interval for one of the enemy's turn. So I just got to fight him with range. This is the best I can do. Let's give it a go. Yeah, I don't, I definitely don't need the DR. Yeah, this is way easier. All right, now under the magic one. Mm, I should have enough ancient runes for this. Shadow burst, right off three large unavoidable dark explosions 
Enemy disappears in the mist, 10% every direction each time they are hit during the duration, and gives regen that heals 10% of the enemy's max hit points every 10 seconds. The mist breaks away and the sky opens up for an, to an unavoidable falling ray of darkness. Mm, I think Amulet of Fury is better here, just because I can get slicing winds up to 20,000 accuracy. It never misses. I can't miss. I mean, I got nothing else to do, really, so let's go. So this one has regen as well, and it also applies this, which reduces my accuracy. I guess it didn't really mean anything. There you go, we got protect from magic on, so that will make it harder. Yeah, see, there's the regen, there's the regen. Well, if I'm gonna be missing anyway, I might as well just use ignite, right? I'm gonna be really mad if I die because, or if I have to run and retry this because I ran out of runes. But that's what it's looking like now. I have a 16% chance to hit, there's no way. I think I need to watch a guide on this or something. Yeah, I'm out of runes. Let me try slicing wounds. I'm definitely gonna have to come try this again. Whatever, that's fine. We did so much this video. Thank you for watching. I've been Captain Blemo. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 7 of my Hardcore Adventure Speedrun playthrough. So, over the last little while, I have been trying to level up farming now. I've got a bunch of potato seeds, so I'm doing that, but I've only been doing that for a little bit of today. I've um, got farm shift leveled up a bunch, and working on this pretty heavily. Struggling with storage a bit right now, because I need township level 80 and stuff. I guess I go ahead and build some extra stuff so I don't waste time. But yeah, the main thing I've been doing is just trying to get all the components for Fez. I already had got 50 amulets of torture and I'll show you why in a second. But right now I'm working on the ranged amulets and then I'll move on to the glory amulets and I will be done. So you can see here, yeah, I just need the range and the glory. And then the reason why I've already gathered so many amulets of torture is because of this township task. If I go in here, go to tasks, go to elite. There's one task where I turn in one uh, fez and 40 amulets of torture and 40 amulets of fury and I get four fezes. So that's one for each of my classes which would be really nice and will make the grind a lot shorter. These ones are taking a long time. I'm pretty sure the ranged and the glory ones are the, some two of the hardest to get. Uh, the rest didn't really take that long. But yeah, I'm chilling. Got the amulets of accuracy from killing the bounty hunters overnight. So I've just been working on this. Now, where we left off last time, I had tried into the mist and I ran out of runes, but I think this time I should have enough runes to do that. I don't think I need Fez for it, so I think I'm going to give that a go. Let's go ahead and do it now. I'm going to go ahead and get Amulet of Defense on all three. Get fully geared up here, and then my Archer set, sh set should be done. Yeah, this is good. I've got plenty of bolts. Should have plenty of runes. Yeah, I've got so many runes now, because um, I leveled up rune crafting pretty much like a lot of the way i've been doing a lot of agility too that's really good for making money so i have every skill unlocked now big really big handy um these i'm not going to unlock because i don't want to use them for this playthrough uh, but yeah i think we're going to go ahead and go in and have a go at into the mist again i'll turn my prayers on probably piety chivalry are the best two for melee uh go ahead and bury any bones if i have any i have fifty thousand. very nice i have affirmate signet ring but there's not really a better ring i have for anything I guess silver diamond ring is fine. And we're just going to go in and have a go at it. For magic, I'm going to turn off protect from magic for right now until I get to the actual boss. And then I'll turn that on. Um, but yeah, let's have a go. I think we're good. Um, I shouldn't die too quickly. I shouldn't die too quickly without seeing what, if something is going to kill me or not. Yeah, so just make sure I use the combat triangle here and I should be fine. These trash mobs are no problem. Got to get to the first boss and just swap between classes here. Being very, very careful. My chance to hit doesn't uh, change when I'm on slash. That's why I'm on slash because it just gives me more damage for free, basically. But yeah, just make sure I swap between my classes and we should be good. But yeah, protect for magic is really important on the magic boss because his attack um, actually reduces my accuracy rating. So it can be quite rough. So I need to make sure I dodge as many of those as I can, especially when I'm using slicing winds because the main thing with slicing winds is I need it to be over 20,000 accuracy rating for it to be viable. I do have over a million fire runes though. So if I have to use Ignite, I will. Because if my AR falls be below 20,000, then Ignite is better, I think. Okay, so swap to melee here. I think this is the best I can do. So, what's his chance to hit 27%? I think this is fine. Yeah, let's just go. I'll, I'll change my prayers around if I need to, but I mean, I had no problems with this before. It was just kind of slow. Because Reap and Return is super annoying. It has a 27% chance to hit. I shouldn't be hitting with more than one of the Reap and Returns. Okay, I'm going to swap from this one to protect for melee. We are working down, slowly but surely. Rape on return, still super annoying. Not seeming that bad so far, though. Down to below half. All right, getting pretty low. Down to about 20k. We're getting close. One more sandstorm, we're good. 
Don't read and return. Okay, dead. So ranged is next. This one is way easier. Does not have any healing of any kind. I just need to make sure I can actually hit it. And this guy will go down pretty fast. Yeah, looking easy so far. This guy's going to die so very fast because he has no healing. Uh, and he can't out damage me. My auto eat. Even with mark of death. Okay, now magic. So I really need to have uh, protect from magic on here. Um, this is what stopped me last time. So protect from magic, 20% chance. Um, the main problem is this one. So it stacks up to 40. So my it could go down to like minus 40% total accuracy, which is really terrible. So I really need to be careful. And that's the most common attack as well. And then it has into the mist, which is healing. As soon as this falls below 20,000, it's so annoying. As soon as this falls below 20,000, I'm trying to protect from magic off. Yeah, keep doing this attack. Yeah, keep doing that. No! Yes. No! No, damn it. Now I'm gonna start missing everything. Does that help? No, that's... Does that help? Yeah, that helps a lot. We have slightly lower DR now. God, this healing is crazy. I'm still outputting a significant amount of damage for this healing. He heals for 20,000 every time. Which is equivalent to about 7 slicing wins, so he needs to stop doing it. It also increases his damage reduction up to 95% whenever he does that. But that needs to stop. Okay, so my... This is the lowest my accuracy can go now. Because it already is a max stacks. So, yeah, amulet of ma Elite Amulet of Magic helped out a lot. I have plenty of runes, of course. Plenty of prayer points. So I think this is in a bag. I think we've cleared into the mist. As long as this dude doesn't decide to suddenly heal up back to full. Oh, we're getting so close. Yes! Oh my god. That feels so good. Into the Mist has been cleared. Let's go. So now we have the Impending Darkness event, which is extremely, extremely rough. I definitely want to get the best gear that I can before I go for that. Uh, and I think that might be the last goal of our this playthrough. But for right now, what I'm going to do is turn off all my prayers and stuff so I don't waste points. And I'm going to go back to trying to farm for Fez. So I'm going to go back to the ranged amulets. This is going to take a very long time, but I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I'll probably do something else for this video before because this is going to be overnight. I have to grind out um, Volcanic Cave as well for more amulets of fury. That'll be overnight as well. Okay, so after grinding the amulets of glory and the amulets of ranged all throughout the night and throughout today, I think I am finally ready to get the Fury of the Elemental Zodiac. I can finally get Fez. I've done it. Fez is acquired. But look at this. It is absolutely bonkers. Oh, also I have the passive slots. So that'll be really nice. I can probably get either more amulets of defense. Or I can get, for my melee I was using the amulet of looting. For grinding everything. But I can also get the Slayer gear and use that. So that's handy. Yeah, look I'm leveling up farming pretty good. What's my next goal? I guess my next big goal is to get Impending Darkness cleared. For now, what I'm probably just going to do is go through Volcanic Cave um, until I get enough Amulets of Fury to turn in this Township task. So yeah, I need a bunch. I need 33 more, so that's going to take me a while, but yeah, pretty good progress so far. Um, we're getting close to finishing Impending Darkness, and then we'd be done with the base game. And we just got to get through all the Throne of the Herald stuff, which is going to be super exciting. Um, yeah, I've been Captain Blemo. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 8, what it will be our final episode of Hardcore Adventure Mode. I am pretty excited. Um, I've basically just been doing a lot of cooking now. I was clearing Earth. Well, first, I was doing Slayer tasks. The, uh, yeah, the Elite ones, I think. So that I could try... No, it was the Master ones. So that I could try and get this up, but... I was clearing like two or three of those Slayer tasks a day. So like after four days, I was down to like 32 I needed to do um, more. So um, I think this is fine. This is um, pretty much the best gear I can get. I've been doing a lot of cooking. Um, I did some fishing of the magma fish, which is a Throne of the Herald food, but it's really good food. So now I have 160,000 of those and they're significantly better than the whales. I'm just gonna unequip this. And throw these on and then i'm, I'm gonna just gonna sell sell these and sell all the extra stuff from fishing 
Um, but today, this is our, the final episode. We are just about to, you know, put a cap on this thing. I was trying to get earth layered shields as well. Um, but I couldn't get those to drop. But that's fine. I don't think I'll need them. Um, my kit is actually really good. My kits are really good. I've got full god gear now. Um, I did go through and I cleared all the god dungeons enough times to get full god gear on everything. So that's super nice. Um, one thing I might have to... I think 12,000 bolts is probably enough. Um, I think there's a guide on the wiki I need to go look at for which area I should do first. Because I don't need to bother with this anymore. Because basically, what impending darkness event is, is it forces you through four of the Slayer areas. Those being um, the Unhallowed Wasteland to the Perilous Peaks, I think. Not including Crystal Depths. Or it might be Shrouded ba I can't remember. I have to look. Yeah, Shrouded Badlands up to Unhallowed Wasteland, not including Crystal Depths. The one thing it's telling me to get is the Ultima God Sword, which is the combination of all the God Swords. I think I kept it. Yeah, so I can show you guys. Um, it's this thing, which is five of all of the God Dungeon Swords. And this thing is pretty fucking sweet, but I don't think I need it, and I don't think I'm going to get it. You know, we're reaching the end here. Um, I've been on this profile for a while. I'm ready to get this over with and move on to something else, to be honest. So, um, I think I've got all my gear equipped, the best that I can do, really. Um, so, we're just going to have a go at it. Uh, I'm going to look through here. So, enemies heal 80% of their current hit points every two turns. That's pretty rough. That's probably what I need the Slayer things for. What I might do... Okay, so basically I have double health, right? But that's, the damage doesn't scale. Um, so what I might be able to do is get extra Slayer gear like this. Uh, get the upgrade kits. I'm rich with Slayer coins. I can afford them. Upgrade these as high as I can. And then equip those on my other characters. This will give me another... 15% of Slayer area negation and I think I should be able to handle it. It's not like the damage reduction is like zero So it's not completely nerfing me. It gives me 4% damage reduction, which is a lot worse But I think that the Slayer area of effect Negation yeah, see it went down to 65% because I have that and I have the passive helmet um, One thing I could try to get is the hunter's ring I might actually try to do that because that would be really nice. It comes from these hunting greater dragons. They can drop the hunter's ring um, and it basically gives another 10% slayer area effect negation. Yeah, I might do that. So I'm going to go into slayer. I'm going to buy those shoes um, and I'm going to run in here. I'm going to try and get it. The drop chance is pretty low. It's one out of 351. Uh, so we'll see. They're ranged. So I'm going to go in with my... Melee, how much damage you do? 1,834, not even close. So yeah, I'm gonna sit and grind these guys for a little bit here. And I need to get three of them, so that might take a long time. But I want them to sit here and wait for them. You know, the more items I can get for this, the better. Because this is the kind of thing where whether we die or not, I'm capping off the series. I'm just having like a last hurrah attempt at the impending darkness event. So we're just gonna sit here, get as geared up as we can today. Um, we're gonna have a go at it so yeah i'll get back to you once i have three of the rings or if it just starts taking too long and i get bored of waiting and then we'll just try it anyway i also get jade stone bolts from these guys i didn't even notice that but that's really good um that'll help me out a lot with the range side of things because i'm currently using what set ruby bolts yeah so these are way better yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so it's been like two hours i found 100 ring i'm just gonna leave it there uh, I'm gonna look through real quick Figure out how much of each there is two melee one melee One melee One melee. So it seems kind of balanced. I think what I'm probably gonna do is just throw it on my Ooh, I'll throw it on melee. That's not what I'm gonna do. And then I can equip these Jade stone bolts. I got I already equipped a bunch of them, but I have 7,000, so that's pretty nice. We're just going to have a go at this. Do our best, see what we can do. If we die, then we die. It's not a big deal. I think this is the best here. Um, let's go ahead and do Unhallowed Wasteland first. 
Let's get into the mist here. So this guy can't kill me. This guy is kind of rough though. Um, right, let me throw my prayers. I and chivalry. This guy sucks. How am I supposed to do this? I guess I need to get the... Man, you know what? I might finish this later. Finish this series off later. But for right now, this is just going to be the capstone for this. I'm going to try um, and do these master tasks. Um, so that I can get the master gear, slayer gear. Because I do not think this is doable with just the elite, unfortunately. But yeah. Uh, I think that's it for right now for the series. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Captain Blamo. Stay tuned for more series that I'm planning on doing. I've got a lot coming up. And I'll see you next time.